How's it going, everyone? I'm just with Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Okay, so... I, I think Magus told us that we had to go... to the guy who created the Epoch? I don't know the guy at the end of time. I'm not sure which. We're gonna do both. What's that? What's what? It's getting some interference from an enormous gate. Can't be. Lavos? What? So admittedly, I did a little bit of research to have a faint idea of how to approach things next. We don't get too lost. Um <clears throat> so I faintly know what to do. It's still blind. Um, I, I I just know like instruction of what to do. This is a website also that didn't really spoil anything, aside from the fact that apparently this thing has a boss you could fight if you really wanted to. No, not without Chrono in our party. I ain't fighting much without him. Especially if it's optional, because I think that if I were to guess, I think it'll still be there once we get Chrono. I think they're calling us. It feels like we're gonna get sucked in there. The ocean balance has risen. Surely it's not back at us. Nope. Nope. If I have an option, no. Nope. Oh, never mind. No, that that wasn't the right one. I love the music that plays while this thing is flying around. Uh, that's the sun keep, right? Yeah, that's the same place. It's really, on this version of the map, it's really easy to get lost. I think this is it here. Yeah, this is the cave. What gave it away was more the shape of it. The size of the dang thing. Wait, what am I doing? The Epoch is a time machine. Let us... Okay, first, I'm gonna go to the end of time. Whatever that's supposed to be. Alright, disembark. Hello? tell these other guys to see the response. Without Chrono, everyone is depressed. May I be of assistance? No! I shall be waiting for you. I'm not the completionist, so I'm not going to 100% everybody's circumstances. Chrono, stop! Not yet gone yet! I will find Chrono! I let go! Big yawn here! No, I let. I let sleep! <laughs> Take Isla from Hi. Hey, where's the healthy kid with the radical hair? Why is an old man saying the word radical? I mean, this is terrible news. I have nothing to give you but this song. It's called Memories of Chrono. Oh, this song. Oh! Wish I could lend a hand. I'm looking for the Guru of Time. The Guru of Time, eh? Heard of him, of course. But what, what do you want with him? Aren't you the Guru of Time? 
We were told he's at the end of time. You were literally the only guy outside of the group of us who's at the end of time. And that weird enemy in the other room, but you've already told me what he is. There's no way he's that. He knows how to bring Chrono back. Bring back lost loved ones. That's what everyone wants. Chrono must be proud. With friends like you. Dude, talk. Oh. Wait, that's all you say? First of all, that. And can we check this out? Hey. What? Hey. Why? Here. Take this with you. That's the time egg. What be this? We think. Let's call that the Chrono Trigger. It is pure potential. By unleashing a specific course of events, it can have a powerful effect on time. As the one who made the epoch, your wings of time, how to hatch it. Like any egg, it represents a possibility. You may or may not hatch. But the Chrono Trigger gives you the potential to get your friend back. The egg will have an effect equal to the effort you put into your search. No more and no less. Don't forget that. As long as you keep Chrono in your heart, the day you are dreaming of shall arrive. Wait a sec. Are you Gasper, the girl of time? Um, well, I believe that's what they used to call me. Ages ago. Got the Chrono Trigger. AKA the Time Egg. Yeah, Alright, well, uh. Is, this, is there not really much we can do here? Nah, there's, there's not gonna be anything we can do there. Okay, I guess, I guess we're leaving. Bye. Um. For the Epoch? Yes. If I recall, the next cool, good thing to do would be to go to the present day. So, one thousand, I think. Yeah, one thousand. Hi, oh, Emok. Okay, weird way to phrase it. All right. How is this still here? Is it like awaiting the end of time or something? We're not there. Here. Now, where we do need to go, we don't have enough points for yet. Anybody who remembers this from the beginning of the game, or knows about this, I gotta go find the dang robot! It's, it's the easiest way to get points at this point. Hiya! Yeah, I know you... They call me Gato. I have metal joints. Feed me and I will give you 15 points. Alright, I'll beat you. Done. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure God only has like 15 HP. I don't know how this thing is not, is not broken. Thank you. That leaves... I'm gonna, I'm gonna put... I'm gonna do this once more. Call me Gato, and I have metal joints. Beat me up and earn 50 points. Dead. I'll kick your butt. Not that hard. Literally press.
press X twice and you're done. One, two, done. Yeah. I mean, we're getting experience for it, which is nice, I guess, but... Thank you. Bye. All right. So now that we got 30 points, we should be able to actually get the uh, Chrono Clone regardless, I think. This is one of the things I looked up. I was like, really? Oh, man. I didn't want to have to go back to that place. It feels like I'm at the beginning of the game again, even though I'm a frog and I've got Luca by my side already. And Marl's already here, so I guess it's not the beginning of the game. But at the same time, what the heck? Hey, dude. <laughs> Welcome to the Norstein Beckler's lab. The spine tingly show is about to start. So, you want a Chrono Clone? Normally I never do this, but today I'll make an exception. Challenge me and I'll give you a clone. The longer you stay in the game, the lower my price will be. I will say this, either way around, I've seen the worst price we can afford it, so, sure. Mimic what you see. Okay. L1 left arm, R1 right arm, squares left, circle surprise. Watch me forget this. Hey, dude. Remember, you get a signal. Okay. Okay. Dude, you're doing a lot of left arm a lot. I mean... Okay. This is not hard, actually. <laughs> be at Chrono's house. It cost it nothing. We lasted long enough and we got it for free. Nice. Alright, see you, Carnival. It was nice to be back, but we got a friend to save. Wait, the clone will be at... Oh, no. Chrono's house. Uh-oh. Chrono's mom is here. Heartbreaking to see her find out. All right, next up is I think the apocalypse time. I actually no, I don't think that's right. Uh-oh. What? No way. Um. Uh, 
This is... Yeah. Oops. Lavos! Frog, what do we do? Uh, no. Run away, we're not ready. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Future. 2300. Yeah. Hey, we got to see a cutscene. At least the game lets you leave. Like, if you're not ready, it lets you go away. Well, I've got... Proto Dome is right down here. Right here. No, the Keeper's Dome. That's the, I think, I, did I say Proto Dome? I meant Keeper's Dome. I think the Keeper's Dome is where we want to be. Because I believe we want to talk about the Tsar again. Go in here. Actually, we're making pretty good time. Pendant Shimmers. The Balthazar. Excuse me. What is this? How did I miss this the first time around? Death Peak, you will find the power to restore life. But to activate this power, the deceased must be important to the space time continuum. And you must have a clone identical to that person. Only then can the Chrono Trigger work its magic. Enough. The time has come for you to attempt Death Peak. It's the only chance you have of reviving your friend. The last program I've implanted in memory banks will help you up the mountain. Stand back. Okay, that thing is adorable. I mean, look at that thing. It's so cute. That thing is so adorable. This feeding program. Oh, there's multiple of them. How many are there? Three. There are three of them. Okay. The three entities you saw will help you climb Death Peak. They sense my message. So I must ask you for a favor. This creature has executed its program. Please let him sleep. Such was on his stomach. So, wait. In this world, technology needs sleep? That's not weird at all. Okay. Ah, why am I struggling with controls right now? Yeah, that one edit is probably the only edit that's going to be done in this entire video. Outside of cutting what doesn't need to be seen at the beginning and the end. This is Death Peak. This is about the length of the amount of like research that I saw that actually I could use. At this point... Oh, that's not fun. I can already tell this isn't going to be fun. Ooh. tab and I got blown away. I got a power tab though. That's something. What? How close do 
time between you gotta be? Oh, this is gonna be a pain. Is this gonna be another one of those pixel perfect things, too? Death Peak. I wish it was kind of more like Death Mountain from The Legend of Zelda. Then. There we go. Go. take the fall for that. Both literally and metaphorically. The reason is just due to the fact that I did not... I, I did... On the same guide, there's supposed to be like three or four items that could be helpful, but it doesn't tell me the exact location. <laughs> okay. That's that, I guess. Oh, that's only at the start. Huh. Welcome to Death Beak. I guess. Am I seriously fighting a rock? Whoa! Hey, 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 hey! I am not food! Fuck. Alright, there we go. So that's a that's a good amount of experience. What's in this? A magic ring. I'm pretty sure I have one of those. Two more clamshell thing. under the assumption that the clams have about 500 health. The cracker? Is that what it's called? It's called a cracker! Luca leveled up. Before moving on. I don't want to miss anything. Okay. I guess that edge is there just for show. Over there. Spoopy. That's an enemy that I haven't tried to attack yet. Hey! Boink! Dead. Alright, skeleton with a scythe. Macabre. Actually, I think I have fought these things before. Ow! Alright, you know what? There we go. Oh, wow! That is bright when it doesn't have the wind. Got refilled on health and we got to kill the dude. Now we're 
more EXP, more, and let's let's move on. There's a Hi! Hello. Okay. Right, that's just a tree. There's nothing to do with it. Whoa. I got a wall ring. I don't want a wall ring. It's not. Oop, wait. Is this a save point? Ah, jeez. Is there gonna be like a boss inside the cave or something? Okay, where are we on time? 27 minutes. All right. Well, we did give said boss a shot. But first, just in case I mess it up, let's create a save slot for part, for the, for the third spot. All right, let's give this guy a shot. Whatever he may be. Excuse me. What was that? Oh, jeez. Um, I don't like this. Ow. Okay, obviously normal. Wait, you can attack its mouth? Okay, everyone attack its mouth, I guess. Jeez, man. Um. That was probably a fire based thing. That's probably why I didn't do very much. Here we go. What are we gonna get? Okay. <laughs> I like anti code. At the same time, I don't, but I do like it. Okay. Of course, you're confused now. Here, Marl. Crap. Wow, this...
the Giga Arm for? None of us. We don't get nada. <sighs> All right, let's let's uh let's go rest in a corner. How long did that take? Okay. Obvious is being kind of stupid right now. Let's move it over for a sec. Why is it so? OBS is. I don't know what it's doing. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, OB, OB, OBS is out of my control at this point. There. I'll just do that. Now I can actually see everything. Hey! Just don't attack her. Marl. Oh, come on! Oh, that move has your health. Never mind. I wonder if you're down to one health. What would that ha What would that attack do then? Crimson rain. Burn! With my hiccups involved, apparently. Well, that was easy. Oh, uh, yeah. If you get farther, far enough in experience, it'll start giving you nothing. I forgot about that. Alright, so let's go down here. Um, might as well save. Or, what we can do instead, we could just grind for the last couple episodes, or for the last couple of minutes. Hello. Are we ready to have some fun? Okay. Um, ow, you know. All right, all three of you. You're all dying at once. Dead, 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 dead. All of you are dead. This is good experience grinding. But... Frog leveled up too, wow. Um... Pretty sure at this point, Frog is ahead of where Chrono was when I last leveled him up. You know, as much as I said I was going to grind for a couple of minutes, it's been a couple of minutes, so I, I guess we'll stop here. Um, we will move forward further into the cave next time. What was that again? Was that like a... It actually kind of looked like a Sid spawn from Final Fantasy X, but... Is it like the same concept? Is it basically a, uh... Lavos, like, spawn or something? I don't know. Anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Chrono Trigger. I, I, who knows what to expect from me at this point. Uh, if, if you liked the video, make sure to click that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for a Square Enix game you'd like to see on here? Let us know in the comments below. Want to check out one that's been done prior to this? Click the link in the bottom right corner, even though I'm pretty sure there's only one right now. Um, and the train take you to that destination. This time it stops on this blind ride. Click the link across the right here and the train take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride.